Thank you so much for staying with us. We are done with politics. Now we speak about career. And today we'll be looking into work and career, how you build yourself from one level to another. I'm speaking to Mini Gashina. Uh, she, 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 she will help us to understand how do, does one build themselves from a particular point when at the entry point and then how do you, you, you get to a retirement point. Send us your comments to all our social media platforms, Y254 channel on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My name is Deva Hillary. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, Hilary. Thank you for having me. You're much welcome. Mm -hmm. Please, I'll give you an opportunity to introduce yourself and mm -hmm. speak uh, more of your profession because I see you have quite a profile here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. T your name and uh, maybe what you have done and your career. Okay. Thank you, Hilary, for having me. Yeah. My name is Mini Gashina. Uh, I'm a digital marketer at Zitek University. Uh, I've been doing a lot of career advice to students over the years. Mm -hmm. So, I uh, professionally, I am uh, I do digital marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, academically, I have a degree in communication and sociology from the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I've also pursued a master's in public uh, administration at uh, Kenyatta University. I'm currently working on my research. Uh, over the years, I've, uh, I've done a lot to do with digital marketing. So uh, I've been advising students online and face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a diploma in communication and media studies as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow, you have done several things, but in the same line, mm -hmm. of course. Now, how did you get to choose your career? Well, choosing of a career is a, it's a process. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you sit and do it immediately. Uh, when I left high school, mm -hmm. I was so excited. I, w I just thought of becoming a reporter, news mm -hmm. anchor. Mm -hmm. That was all the excitement. Mm -hmm. But when I actually went to class and I realized that maybe this is not really what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. I had to go through a career counselor mm -hmm. and uh, I, I weighed the different options that were presented to me. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, I can do this, and maybe I can major in communication, mm -hmm. and maybe that would be a, a better way of exploring my talent mm -hmm. and my potential. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe when, when at the time you wanted to be a journalist, and uh, did you have other influences, maybe from parents? I think you, you should be a nurse, you should be a doctor, you should be an engineer, that kind of thing. Well, my parents were very supportive. My sister was also very supportive. Mm -hmm. They gave me all the, the encouragement I actually needed for me to pursue that type of a career. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly you find that students are usually not uh, convinced by their parents. Mm -hmm. uh, they already have a calling inside to pursue a different type of a career, even when the parents decide that they should pursue a different type of a career. Mm -hmm. But I will, uh, I will tell anybody, to actually try to match their passion mm -hmm. with, uh, with their interests, mm -hmm. then they will know exactly what they want to do in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now, um, speaking of work and career, I want us to look into this example, how do you maintain yourself uh, to a certain line of uh, work or that career, uh, speaking of so. Um, uh, an, an example would be, there are people we call them kamageras, <laughs> in the matatu <laughs> industry. <laughs> uh -huh. These are the people when you wana jazanga matu, wengine wana chapanga a set, mm -hmm. in a jar, wana shuka evil, mm -hmm. that kind of a thing. And then this person will will move from a uh, kamagera to a uh, makanga, then mm -hmm. you find the same person maybe the next year, he's now a driver. driver. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, how does one build their profile in a certain line of their passion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good question, Hilary. You see, when you pursue different types of jobs, you get to gain skills and mm -hmm. interest. Right. And over time, you realize that there's a section that you're really interested in and you continue pursuing it. Mm -hmm. So if you are a makanga in this, in this uh, conversation, mm -hmm. and then you move on to, you, you probably find the industry so interesting mm -hmm. and you think that it's better for you to advance. Uh, it's because you've developed an interest in this sector. Mm -hmm. There are people who will be a makanga like for 
a week and they decide this is not my thing. Right. I really don't think I can do this further. Mm -hmm. There are people who do these things just to earn a paycheck at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Maybe a, a simple wage, not because they are actually interested. But when you talk of careers, we are talking about things that are, uh, a, a person has acquired professionally, mm -hmm. has been trained professionally to, to take the, uh, their life through. Mm -hmm. They have uh, earned skills, they have uh, a job that is actually related to the duties that they they were taught in school. Mm -hmm. The type of character uh, already is um, it marries so well with the uh, with the job that they were given. It marries so well even with the education background. But uh, with a makanga, you really don't need. It's just work. It you really don't need any type of mm -hmm. skills. It's just an official. It's something that you do to uh, probably earn a living that day. Mm -hmm. Maybe because academic opportunities were never presented to you back uh, back in your days. Mm -hmm. So you just find something that will actually give you a pay at the end of the day. With careers, you have to uh, actually train yourself. You have to endorse yourself with uh, motivation. You have to build yourself towards it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I wanted to give this another example, which of course marries the one that I have given. We have seen people who have gone to a particular industry and not ev actually even an industry. Mm -hmm. This is a, a person who has maybe finished their high school and mm -hmm. uh, they are cleaners. Mm -hmm. in a certain organization mm -hmm. and then you find this person has moved has become a secretary mm -hmm. the next thing you hear mm -hmm. they have an office mm -hmm. and of course now they have a paper but now getting to that particular point there's a there's a journey mm -hmm. as a person because you you at the time you you're becoming even responsible in other aspects of life how does one get to balance such focusing on what they want mm -hmm. and even speaking to the young people out there mm -hmm. beginning small okay you know when you when you are when you come in and you get a job mm -hmm. as a cleaner in any institution right you will have to develop different interests if you don't want to stay there for the rest of your life mm -hmm. and you know careers it's a long life plan mm -hmm. if you are if you are vi visioned if you are focused mm -hmm. You may not want to remain where you are, stagnated for a very long time. Mm -hmm. You may want to move from one level or from one stage to another so that you are able to grow yourself into a different level. Mm -hmm. So if you come in as a cleaner mm -hmm. and you realize that you are interested with the work that the receptionist is doing, you have to train yourself. You'll ask the receptionist, what can I do to assist you? Mm -hmm. So with time, you'll have to even take yourself to school, back to school. Mm -hmm. You take a small course and you come back to employ and tell them, I have this certificate. Can I get a chance in a different office? Mm -hmm. And of course, they will see that this person is making uh, some effort and they will give you another opportunity. Mm -hmm. Can you go back to school? We need somebody in this department. So you have to, you have to actually uh, invest in yourself if you want to have a career. Mm -hmm. You have to take yourself back to school. You have to invest yourself with uh, different type of skills. You have to learn from the people around you. You can't just sit down if you want to grow. That's a career. Mm -hmm. But if you find somebody who has been a cleaner like for 20 years, this is a person who can say, uh, my career as a cleaner, they don't have to really move mm -hmm. up the ladder. Mm -hmm. They can just call themselves, my career as a cleaner began in this year to this year. Mm -hmm. They are really did not have any interest in growing up the ladder. Mm -hmm. So this is the type of person like the Makanga who stays uh, at a particular stage for so many years mm -hmm. until everybody knows there's a Makanga of this nature at this particular stage. Mm -hmm. So if you have to grow yourself, you have to invest yourself. Like the Makanga will take themselves back to school to do a driving course, most likely. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Obviously, the cleaner might take themselves back to school and uh, probably pursue a course that is in line with the, whatever the company is handling, mm -hmm. uh, the industry of that company. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in my profession where I work, I have re uh, we have trained staff who can actually handle uh, students. They guide them on the different type of careers right from the beginning mm -hmm. so that these students are able to envision themselves in better positions. Mm -hmm. They are able to to see their potential. They are able to tell themselves that I, I can't really do uh, 
just a, a, a short course on maybe culinary arts or hospitality and stay there. Mm -hmm. I have to grow myself into the managerial position. Mm -hmm. I have to build myself. So they do the course probably because of finances and other constraints. They, they drop out, but they come back. Mm -hmm. And uh, we take them through this process. We, they, they come back. They join us for a diploma. They come back. We enroll them for degrees. And that way you are able to grow even in your career. You are able to uh, move from one level, probably from the receptionist to the administration mm -hmm. and so forth. All right. We are living at a time, especially during this COVID-19, we have seen people lose their jobs. Mm. Uh, most of them get retrenched. And of course, this is something that has been happening even in the past. But now, how does one make their s themselves uh, relevant to a point where even when the employer wants to uh, release some people, you are still there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you may have done maybe just one course or a degree, but you'll find yourselves, mm -hmm. you have remained even when others have left. Okay. You have to grow yourself with the growing trends, Hillary. Mm -hmm. You cannot stay stagnating in a place for a long time. Mm -hmm. When you get into an industry, you have to look at the positions that this company cannot do without. You have to look at sections where this company, for this company to thrive, mm -hmm. this and this must exist. Like if you get into a company whereby you know technology will overthrow your position, mm -hmm. you have to take yourself either back to school and change your career, or you have to probably train yourself uh, to fit in other sections so that you, your skills are not only limited to a specific department. Mm -hmm. So if a, depart uh, if a company decides to restructure, you will not be thrown out. Mm -hmm. If a company decides to maybe render people redundant, you will not be, like, t let's say for today, mm -hmm. when, uh, when COVID was announced, most companies had to, to send people home. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely, if you're working uh, in, most, uh, in offices like an accountant, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find yourself probably sent back home because the system can replace you, MPESA payments have replaced you, mm -hmm. uh, digital banking has replaced you. But what if you are in the system, in, in, a, on an, in an office whereby everything has to be accounted for? Right. If you're an accountant and you are, your work is probably to, uh, to countercheck the, the records of payments, mm -hmm. that means even if you are, uh, you are the front office receiving the cash receipts, and you are writing receipts down and issuing them out, mm -hmm. you will be sent home. But if you are in the back office, probably doing all the reconciliation, you might not be sent home. You might be, be needed to, to check through the types of payments that the new company has adopted during this season. Mm -hmm. So like uh, in my take, if you are probably in, a, in a news anchoring, you have to n learn new digital ways of uh, presenting news to send your news probably to YouTube, maybe to attract more traffic uh, in different types of ways online mm -hmm. instead of just sticking to the normal uh, traditional media that you are used to. Mm -hmm. That way you remain relevant, you, you develop your own content, you sell it through internet, YouTube and various forms of social media, that way you are able to thrive. Mm -hmm. So I will urge everybody who is uh, out there make yourself relevant by joining departments and careers that actually you cannot be rendered redundant easily. Mm -hmm. uh, if you take your, if you are rendered redundant and uh, there is no option for you out, uh, to, to, to probably move on, think of something else that you can do. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are a chef, probably you can sell your stuff online. You can sell, you can develop courses that you can teach people online. Mm -hmm. Don't just uh, give up and say, now the company rendered me redundant. I have to stay at home and uh, wait for a next chance to be employed. Mm -hmm. Yes, Hillary. Yeah, brings me to, to the next group of people. Uh, these are now the Juakalis. Mm -hmm. uh, you, have, you have opened your business, you or maybe you're doing a certain thing like the architecture. Or, uh, let me actually give the, an example with someone who, who manufactures some codes. Mm -hmm. That's, they went for that particular course to do, or even arts, they went for that particular course. Mm -hmm. That's their career. You ask them, say, I'm an artist, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. How do they, do they also build themselves to a point whereby uh, we will not be speaking of artists so and so, but we will be speaking more of their art. In the, in the art industry, it's a tricky one, but 
everybody can make it out there. Mm -hmm. So in terms of, let's say, musicians, mm -hmm. uh, these are artists that have uh, developed themselves through various skills and their passion. Mm -hmm. they, have, uh, they already have a ready market for whatever they are selling. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you have, to, you have to go the extra mile. You have to explore different types of ways you can make money. So as much as you're a musician, I've seen so many musicians pull out and make their own record company. They, they decide to grow their, their careers, eh? mm -hmm. from being a musician to having a record company to record other people's mu uh, uh, music. Uh, they source for these musicians, they source for these artists. They create the content and they, they sell it even uh, in stations like uh, View Sasa and mm -hmm what have you. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to only be a musician. You can be a content uh, creator. You can be a producer. You can explore the different type of angles that you can fit in. Mm -hmm. So long as you don't stay stagnated. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, what, that's my take. Uh, how this. about the people who, who do business courses? They want, uh, like they become, do they have to go to uh, be employed by a certain organization? Or it's something they can begin by themselves, become their own employer and sustain them. How do they do that as we finish up? You see, in the current market, Hillary, mm -hmm. whenever you pursue any course, you have to look at uh, can you employ yourself? Mm -hmm. Can you get yourself into a, a sector that you don't have to really rely on employment? Mm -hmm. So in this case, Hillary, I will tell anybody pursuing any business course, that there are practical and applicable skills that you can offer mm -hmm. apart from being employed. Let's say you are an accountant. I've seen people run uh, uh, these money exchange programs on, uh, on uh, the website, mm -hmm. uh, selling of shares. You really don't have to be uh, specifically in, an, in employment for you to thrive it in life. Mm -hmm. You can pursue other interests in the business field. You can. Like, let's say if you pursue procurement, it's a business course. Mm -hmm. You can write tenders for people. You really don't have to uh, be the one employed. You can help people get these tenders. You can take them through the documentation process. Mm -hmm. You can guide them through. And they are able to, you can even present for them opportunities whenever they're advertised on uh, uh, probably the, uh, the uh, PPOA. Mm -hmm. Whenever they are advertised, you can present to them the tenders, show them how to write bid for them the tenders and probably that way you can make a living you don't really don't have to be employed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right and now uh, speaking of the uh, career and building yourself to a certain point uh, where you you become relevant even when others are doomed not mm -hmm. give us your final recommendations you know if you have a if if you don't have a career you mm -hmm. don't have a vision mm -hmm. you need a vision to guide you through the career and you know, a career is, a, is an encompassment of various different aspects and decisions that you make throughout your life mm -hmm. that direct your educational, political, social, economic path. I will urge all the young uh, people out there to encompass their values, their talents, and their passion for them to actually realize what they need to do in life. Mm -hmm. And that way, they'll be able to to make firm decisions in their careers and their lines of work so that they remain relevant even when others are being rendered redundant. All right. Thank you so much for coming and speaking to our audience. They are young people. And you've heard it's important for you to grow yourself from one point to another. Sikai palesano semange my career as a... It's not important. At least have something else to top it up. And of course, you will always be relevant wherever you go. She has been my guest. Mini Gashina, digital marketer. And thank you so much for coming. And back home, thank you so much for keeping us company. It has been a pleasure staying with us. Uh, we were speaking about uh, growing your career or career and work. My name is Dereva Hille. We will be seeing you again in the evening. Until then, have a good day and enjoy the rest of our programming. Good morning. Mm -hmm.